right, it's part two Texas hunt. My favorite two hunting buddies, JR and John. We are fixing to get it done. JR is leading the way, but me and Big John is coming in on a second, on a close second and third. I know we headed back to the same stand. Had a good hunt that morning. Pig come in, seen some nice bucks. He said, I think we need to go right back this evening. My man Scott getting us, Scott getting us to the blind. He is a man. Billy got back up behind Scott, and then they got just old me here. Go ahead and end the evening hunt. Bring a bunch of bucks here this morning. Let's see if we can't get it done this evening. What do you think, Scott? Ah, good weather. You never know. They could be in there now. They may come in right before dark. I know when I'm hunting over here in Texas, I've been over here a couple of times. Aging deer, I am zero good at it. I mean, I can look at a deer and I cannot tell you an age on him. So I've got to rely on Billy. Billy knows deer. He's hunted Texas a long time. He knows what to shoot. I would have done pulled a trigger. I ain't gonna lie about it. I would have done smoked one. Billy said, let's just wait. I think both of them are going to be in 130. You think they're going to be in the 30? Sir? You think they'll be in the 30? I, I really think they will be. Um, I don't think they're not going out of the 30. Ain't no more deer coming. No, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I'll get ready and I'll just pop her name. Hang on, You say when. Okay. Huh? She moved. Just a minute, she moved around. I got you. You gonna shoot that biggest sound? Yeah, all right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right. She's dead. You wanna get that other one? It's up to you, yeah, if you want to, go ahead. You wanna get rid of them? Yeah, shoot it. Here it goes. She's dead. <laughs> all right, I just, I just smoked two hogs. There was three come in this morning, or four come in this morning. I shot one of them to get them out the corn. Uh, this evening we had the three come in, so I decided to go ahead and take them because when them hogs walk up, the deer leave running right then. So they, uh, they eat up every bit of the feed because when they get here, 
they don't leave till there's no feed left. So, got a couple knocked down. Gonna go get them, get some fresh back straps out of them maybe, and uh, might mix it up with some deer meat. We may kill a deer one day, who knows? But anyway, hogs down. We'll uh, we'll be back in the morning after some deer. The bull pipe right on it. Let that time be down. Please. Good sir. Whatever you do, don't break don't don't break nothing. We gotta have you. Yeah. We gotta have you. That was the dad coming. I can't do it. I'm gonna learn. pictures of some big bucks at a ground blind stand they wanted us to try the next morning. So we had to flip rolls a little bit and JR had to help me run the camera a little bit and man did he do a good job. some pop. 
boxes. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that'll work the week. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Lord. First. Thank you, JR. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some. Tagged out. The Mississippi boys come in and double down on two big old 11 points. What do you think about that? Pretty cool on this <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> That's awesome. Little rifle does good, doesn't it? Oh, that's sweet. See too. why I like it so much. <laughs> yeah. We both tagged out F.E. Hill Ranch. Looks like two 11 points. Second morning JR got his yesterday. We blessed this morning to get this one. We're giving God the praise. F.E. Hill Ranch, Texas. Well, this this deer, you know, he's a he's a product of a product of the of the ranch here. He uh, he grew up here. Yeah, uh, you know we don't we don't we don't feed piles of protein. Or, you know it's a, a nice big low fence ranch, and he he got to mature here. The man, Mr. John Hill, coming up. See what he got to say about it. Ooh, what a buck! He's a pretty son of a gun. Golly! I guess we're gonna have to hug Hayden's neck or let him come down there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hayden. Hayden killed a big eight point about two weeks ago. He'll be fine. Thank you, brother. John. Man. Appreciate it. Well, score is not the only thing that matters with a deer, but this one was a 155 big frame chocolate horn deer. Just a beautiful deer. And we, that feeling of being excited never gets old. And being from South Mississippi, you don't get that opportunity every day. Yeah. It's third evening. We're right back in the same stand. I know I can't go wrong because there's a couple of deer here that I'll shoot. All I need is a green light. We've been seeing deer every set. But this time we, we decided we're going to just not see them, we're going to shoot them. So if they come out this evening, uh, then it's going to pick up a moment. Me and old Cruella is going to say we can't get it done. That's the one we shoot. If you like him, yeah. Now this deer, he's at the feeder. Billy's already got him scored. We decided we're gonna shoot him. I've watched this deer several minutes. And about that time, didn't grunt, didn't have out nothing. He started walking toward the blind. So I, I backed the camera out and he's walking straight toward me. So I backed the camera out again. 
He's still walking straight toward me. All right, you tell me to get the fly out of us. Yeah. You might want to make sure you turn your scope down. I don't know what power you have. When, he's, when he comes up this little ridge, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to see him if he's down low. I can't see worth nothing. I didn't have, I done took my glasses off to shoot. Cause I had him zoomed in, everything was good. So anyhow, I look at the camera and the camera is pointed at him around 30 yards. There's one little center divider in those windows, and that's what my camera picked up on. Don't have a kill shot. Perfect footage all the way to me, as you can see. I mean, I know he's 30 yards. I got it on his heart. We get out of the blind, walk there. In just a minute, we find blood. Deer's not 50 yards. First thing I want to do is start out, give God the praise. We're blessed with a safe trip up here. Uh, me and John and Jr. have been planning this for a couple of years. Me and Billy sat there. We didn't sit long this evening until he come out. And uh, man, what a hunt. F.E. Hill Ranch, I mean, it's just, uh, we've been accommodated ever since we got here. It's awesome. They got a lot of deer. They got good guides. They got good food. They got it all. So uh, one heck of a hunt, one good buck for sure. And uh, once again, give God the praise. An old Cruella, the old 65 gets hated on, but I can say she ain't lost one yet. In Texas, you see so many deer, so many good deer. But let me tell you, when one 150 inches starts walking towards you, I don't care who you are, it gets exciting. This deer was over 600 yards. Without the scope, we could barely see it. Just let her get turned, and you get ready. Are we nice and still? We were looking for a long range target, and Mr. Sam put us on one. She's kind of facing us. On the far left? Yes, sir. When she, uh, when she turns broadside, I'll be watching. I'll let you know, but you got her in the scope? Yes. Tear up in the scope. And, and uh, when she turns, we'll get us, we'll give it a try. Well, now that one's back by itself in this corner. Want me to shoot it? Let's go back to this deer. Now, hold on. Re aim for you. you. Tell me when you find her in the scope. Yes, sir. I've got her. All righty. Whenever you're ready to shoot, you go right ahead. Shoot that back one now. On the left? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dirt rolled. <laughs> Dirt rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Guess how far that deer was. How far? 600 and <laughs> something yards. Did you get that? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Got it on the GoPro and on the. JR, you are deadly. You are deadly, my friend. Giving God the praise at 637 yards. That practice with the 22 Creedmoor at 500 yards paid off. Real south hunting from a real long way. So I got any final words there, men? We'll see you next year. <laughs> They're coming too far.
master deer killers right there. <laughs> Billy, you gotta tell Dandies. us. Dandies. Dandies. What is it? It, it, you ain't said nothing since we got here. Tell us something. I, I try to be quiet. The thing about old Sam is he can't sing, so if, hopefully he can hopefully he can film a little bit. Good time or what, brother John? I'm telling you, there aren't many of men like this. Uh, I'm thankful for every minute. Give God the praise. He sure give us an opportunity to come be together and enjoy what He created. It's just by traveling, you get to see more of it. So, uh, I've enjoyed our time here, but I'm ready to see the Mississippi. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got back here. We got a man. Loaded down with deer tag. And we're, are we happy about that? Yes. You tickled to death? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Like, this is more than just a hunting trip. This is true friends. I love these boys. I mean, they're just good people. I'm telling you, it's just good stuff at F.E. Hill Ranch. If you ever get an opportunity to go, don't pass it up. It's good stuff.